nenye nasema wasa wanasema ti kipawa tunalipisha interviews atulipishi kipawa the amount of not about podcast but okay the idea the, the, the idea behind kipawa kipawa is a community based organization we are focused in uh, empowering young uh, people uh, some of them they gave us free interviews some of them we had to pay them but overall Hey guys, welcome back for the Abraham Kenya. It's your girl Charity back again with another video. Leo tukuna guest mbotana na ni manager wa Kipawa. Mwenyewe. So, nataka tuombe anafanya gani nini? Actually, si manager. Mm. It's the CEO, the founder of uh, Kipawa. Sheesh. Uh, we we uh, started Kipawa around I think uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, we did not know what clear idea uh, the whole organization was supposed to, uh, you know. But anyway, as time went, ideas changed. We thought about podcast. But okay, the idea, the, the, the idea behind Kipawa, Kipawa is a community-based organization. We are focused in uh, empowering young uh, people, and uh, the main focus was creating a platform for dancers, creating a platform for uh, actors, and that is how we started. And we never started here in uh, Greenfields. So right now we are in Greenfields. We started somewhere in a uh, police line. Now, the main agenda is to empower my youths, where they access quality cameras, uh, dance studios, to uh, access uh, just the best facilities. And that is what we did uh, over the years. But we realized that we empower effective enough to have an online platform. So the idea was we come up with a concept that is going to be appealing to the young people mm -hmm. and probably even the older guys mm -hmm. and we decided anyways let's start our podcast that was during time when corona likweme corona likweme shika sana then uh, as you know right now kipawa podcast is being run by a gentleman called timo eh? mm -hmm. yeah so timo was one of the young guys who came joined kipawa around two or three years ago and so alikona talent ya kutangaza and we said okay when we start a podcast maybe the future might be podcast because radios are being phased out right now eh? mm -hmm. so we decided okay let's create a platform yenye itainable wewe timo kama mtangazaji ama kama mc as a thrive and so the passion that he had behind the um, behind kipawa ilifanya kipawa ika ika shoot then we were like okay we tried a, a few episodes, we realized that it's not performing the way we, we want it to perform. Mm -hmm. So we decided, okay, let's try and bring in influencers. We, uh, some influencers, the Novukus and everybody else, while we keep our podcast with the uh, Safi, because at your time, they were they also becoming something in Kenya. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of artists, some of them, they gave us free interviews, some of them, we had to pay them. Mm -hmm. But overall, to tell you the truth, uh, that is when I keep our exploded uh, during Corona. And it was a nice opportunity for for us to thrive because Kilamto mm -hmm. how during Corona and that is how Kipawa blew up. Yeah. And by the way, you're very lucky. You are. You, this is the very first interview I'm having with. Oh I always God. like to be behind the scene. Uh -huh. I always like that Timo is the one that uh, takes the mantle because he has the talent, he has the ability to uh, uh, co connect with the masses. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you, I, I consider you very lucky. I oh my God! I, thank I never you. give interviews. Oh my God! Thank you so much. And by the way, yeah. why did you choose Queen name Kipawa? Why Kipawa? Why Kipawa? Uh, Kipawa. You know, everyone thinks that Kipawa is all about interviews. Uh -huh. It's all about guys rapping, but Kipawa see only that. Kipawa is uh, beyond. Kipawa is uh, an empowering uh, platform. Now it's also a community-based organization. There's the aspect of uh, Kipawa being uh, what it is right now. People, people know Kipawa come up place in your freestyle etc. Mm -hmm. But Kipawa focus yake ni ni empower young guys. It doesn't have to, it can be football. Yeah? The guys who are playing football there, we can decide. Okay, we see a lot of talent in uh, in the team. 
we come through, we fundraise for them, they become who they need to be. Kipawa basically see only revolving around uh, up upcoming artists, but it's, it's more focused in uh, uh, community. Mamboga palivo, kuna zako na mamboga mwenye kwa talent ya nazaimba. Just uplifting everything, anything to do with their talent. Uh, can be sports, can be um, anything to relate, related with acting or rapping, whichever. Yeah. Okay, so Mr. CEO, like, thank you so much when you show up. Like, if this is the first thing yeah. that you thank you so much. And like, ninini like, ina inspire, keep power to keep on going and going and calling more celebrities. Like, kuna jatu mwona big celebrities kina mandi yeah. like wanakuja wana come yeah. through ni challenges gani mna face through like or your process <coughs> ya kuita ma celeb ku convince ndo wengi a box everything okay kitu moja ni given kusema ni some uh, some artists and very good friends of of mine even even before kipawa started mm -hmm. and some some of them were some of them most of them we paid them mm -hmm. to appear on our, on our show mm -hmm. some of them were like rosafi people like major they just came rosafi or can do their their thing but they kwa kitu na to inspire each and every day i would say that ni ni love my fans on the show the fact that they keep on watching our content mm -hmm. sometimes zingine zina umai nje said zingine ziko successful zingine tuna tupas na umai nje but kinyana mm -hmm. to inspire kila siku ni kuona to change life ya msanii mwenye ako na hopes kujua ata why onekana lini anyways kwa sisi kuna kuna situation yenye nasema wasa wanasema ti kipawa tunalipisha interviews atulipishi kipawa the amount of money or um, i would call it like maybe damages eh? what sometimes we charge artists that are coming to kipawa ni ya ku facilitate the guys who uh, help the interviews or help the whole show to happen uh, and also artists when they go to recording studios they pay when they go for music videos they pay a huge amount of money but now the platform that is giving them an opportunity to grow they don't want to bless that person who is uh, giving them the platform. So I don't call it more like paying, I call it like more like supporting the guys who, the team behind Kipawa. Because mm -hmm. Kipawa is a camera guy, there's a guy who scripts the whole show. Thinking about, so zingine kuna vitu zingine tuna script, unfortunately na sema hapa hivi. But kuna vitu zingine zanya hatu script. But the main idea ni, ya ku support, msani. Though, uh, what I can say at this point, Kipawa the main aim at all times ni kusaidia msani mwenye ako pali wachini mwenye julikani apate platform, apate kushare platform na mainstream industry yeah and somehow to make us uh, successful na hiyo So okay, na leo ni genge ton launch, tu mwona umekua featured? Eh, yeah, okay actually the story behind <laughs> being featured, I'm even wondering how did they even end up in the song? Okay the thing is, Kipawa uh, King Fizzo is a very good friend of mine. Kuna time when you look at Shugli kwa studio and uh, steamers are lost. Tuka decide, okay, what do we do? So, okay, we want to find a content here inje. So, when I inje, we put on a Fizzo somewhere in Greenspan. So, I ah, was was in between. Rada guy, I said, okay, sit. Set on a form, steamer put a quiet to sort of find a inje. I can say, I'm going to go by the flan. I'm going to go to Kamsani Kitambo. I'm going to go to Kamsani Kitambo. Why don't we do something? Kuni uh, kwa plift wa se wa genge kasi mama kuna kuna ngoma flani deno alikomedu. That's how to li to li end up to ka to ka participate kwa ngoma. But it's not like I'm an artist. Me see artist. I'm not an artist. I wish to be an artist, but I tried my level best. Even yes, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you feel about Ingoma? Like what you view like unona like Ingoma itafufua ama celeb wenye unajua like hata tukisema like fans wakisema Gingeto ni mededi mm -hmm. bado kuna wasanii wenyewe wenye wana feel like Gingeto na iko like una feel aje unaona Ingoma itarudisha ita inspire wase ama what's your view? Uh the keep our eco based on connect entertain and inspire. Mm -hmm. Uh our work is also to inspire the upcoming generation. And of course, to Julisa, how can Gengeton really inspire the upcoming generation? Mm -hmm. The truth is, uh, 
Kipa, um, Gengeton needs to be packaged in a different way, in a more friendly, uh, in a friendly way, in a PG. Is it pre PG? Kuna 18 over over 18 kuna uh, parental guidance etc. In a fake way, in a fake package of it of out. It's not bad music. The fact that really Kenyans embraced it, and our naika fika baka maju, it's special. But uh, Gengeton, it only needs packaging. An opportunity that it can be looked at different. So, this is what I want to translate Gengeton to crime, to explicit, uh, whichever. But it's good, it's good that we, uh, we package it in a different way that mm -hmm. people can even. Wazazi want to ask yourself, okay, it's, it's good music. People can, hey, all, all people of all ages, they can uh, really appreciate it. And that is what we are trying to do with it. So, for a long time. So you felt like it's a good opportunity to, to do something. Actually, not even me, but feasibly feel it's a good opportunity at least to create something na on Iwandeno. Now, I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. So then we are really trying to go to the size of the house. Yeah. Oh, okay. Basically. Inshallah, inshallah. Like, yeah. this song is a bang. What yeah. I'm just saying, Goma. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. So na joto ya feeling ya genge to kinda. Aina 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 unguwa tinda ni yani. So, neza taka like uneza pia mse advice like mse ana taka kuwaka we we like mse ana taka ku start something and then that yo kitu like iku a something great like uneza muambi ya like adu nini to be where you are today like most of the people know ki power like uneza kunamse ana taka kuwa CEO kama we we so like uneza mpe advice gani? Uh, okay, first of all, I like the questions that you're asking, they are very relevant. Mm -hmm. Now, Thank you. I admire young ladies who are out there to try and do something with uh, the uh, media world. You know, every you know, online world, you may big, yeah, you may be able to say, I like the questions that you're asking, are very accurate. So, advice in Gepati, any young man or any young person out there is that. You should be the mirror of the society. The moment that you are just putting out music there for the, for the sake of putting it out there, you have to realize that one day the younger generation will look up to you or your young ones. If you'll get old, you know. But when you get old, people will look back and, okay, your children will look back and ask themselves, like, who the hell is going so as an artist, you should also look, should also have that mind like, how am I in, uh, affecting the future, future generation? Mm -hmm. You cannot save the whole world, but you can do something small to change the future. Mm -hmm. So let's mold the future generation what you that. Even if I'm doing music, it doesn't have to be super uh, explicit. And what I can encourage any, every, anybody else there, or what the advice that probably I can, I can give the uh, the upcoming talent is that you be humble. Na usijigonge kifua. Nobody knows about Castro. People know more about Timo, yeah? mm -hmm. But it's about humility. Kukuam humble. Na yeah, if mungo jukupati opportunity ya kukuwa somebody big, you don't have to step on everybody's head that wana kunyo kabarabara na kujawa kabarabara. What the heck are you doing? Unapata. Mm -hmm. You have to. You have to do something that it uh, it inspire me. Say, when you come, parivo ko na nyema zeku. Ule jama ni star, but ni humble. Let me say, I'm a tulia. Sim sim. There are those guys who wakisha wakakidogo. They are being seen on social media. So wana taka ku mistreat kila mtu. Ati oh kwa zoko na subscribe. Zonga pika blue ni post. No, that's bullshit. You know. Apologies for my language, but. You should have that humility. You give everyone a chance, and you don't just judge people for the sake of for the sake of it. Don't see yourself like you're all the way up there. Mm -hmm. As much as you might be up there, hmm, there's also people who are down here. And when I look at you, you are very small. 
And when you are looking at them, when you are up there, down there, they see you as if you're a mountain. Uh -huh. When you look at the guys down there, they are very small, right? Uh -huh. And the person who is down there, when they look at you, you're very small. We are all small. So, anyway, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, almost makes sense. Mm -hmm. But what I can but, say, uh -huh. uh, humble. Wake ukwe BTG ukwe the Mungais ukwe Kyokos. Be humble. Be humble. Be humble. No, no. And most of them are humble. So we gine see you wataja but kona arrogance uh, level flani. So your humility na kusho composure at all times is very, very important. That way you open more opportunities for your home, for you uh, to, to really uh, uplift, to really stand out in the middle of all, all these uh, bloggers who are... Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm making sense. Am I making sense? You are. You are. But they eat to eat as I am separate. Like, and uh, before we wrap up, thank you so much, Mr. CEO. Like, you guys, we are so way, lucky. CEO, eh? You are CEO of Kibawa. I, I'm, I'm, I, don't, see, I don't see myself. Uh -huh. Mr. CEO, Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cool guy. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not that guy. Mm -hmm. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, mm -hmm. I'm not into those things. Of, you know, but <laughs> I, I care more about the legacy that I will live. Not because when you die, the question is, how will people remember you? That is the biggest question mm -hmm. you should ask yourself. When you die, because mm -hmm. all, all of us are going to die. When you die, how will people remember, remember you? you? That is the most important thing. So that's why I'm not into this nonsense title to be overseen. Mm. If you see me on Kipawa Podcast, I'm more like just speaking in my mind. I'm not into this fame bullshit. Uh, pardon my language. I'm more into thinking about how will the future generation view Kipawa? How was it? You know? Anyways, let me not go into details, but I do appreciate you uh, giving me a chance to come on the page today. Thank nice. you so much, Castro. Thank you so much, Mr. Castro. So, social media handles are not going to be happy. Like I said, I'm not. <laughs> You're not even I, on Instagram. I am in Instagram, but I'm not that. Name? I'm not into Hallelujah following. Eh? Maybe there is someone who wants to slide people in your DM and ask for some advice. Eh, people will come into my DM. Mm. Eh, anyways, mm -hmm. I'm castromondi.ke. Castromondi.ke. There you will find me there. Yeah, that's all. Thank you so much, Mr. Castro, and be, subscribe Pale for the Abraham Kenya Kipawa Lutko Gengeton launch, and we are having a lot of fun. So thank you guys. Till next time, good vibes.